This is where it all began when the 12-foot wave came crashing over what was once a breakwater, smashing it to bits and invading this quiet town. And it's here that reconstruction will begin first, with another breakwater to stop the eroding seashore and, as the people in Crescent City pray this Easter, to protect the town from another disaster. The rebuilding is a staggering job. Sixty square blocks were hit, 14 of them all but stripped of their buildings. This Sunday, there is no Easter parade down Front Street, but at least the street itself will be ready for traffic again soon. You were seriously injured here in Crescent City, and a score will bear the scars of this disaster for life. It just kept jerking and pulling and shaking. And then all of a sudden, my, I don't know how long it took, but all of a sudden, everything was calmed down and the house stayed still. And I thought I was in the same place where my, my house was. But instead of that, I was way over back of the Crescent Lumber Company. Now, Mrs. Violet, you were in bed when this happened. I was in bed when it happened, and I couldn't get up because the roof was on me. For how long was the roof on you? From the time that it started until they found me at 10 o'clock. I never want to go through again, and I hope I never live to see anybody else go through it. Oh, it was terrible. Are you going to go back and rebuild your home? I haven't got no money to rebuild nothing. All told, the damage estimate stands at $40 million. But reconstruction of buildings usually takes far less time than the healing of human wounds. This is Terry Drinkwater reporting from Crescent City, California.